Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKX Jump here, and this week we have a brand new event for Idle Heroes, unlike anything we've ever seen before. DH Games are giving away guaranteed A tier heroes, but of course, this does not come for free. However, DH Games have added a unique awakening option in the Soul Temple that has a higher chance of dropping heroes like C tiers, B tiers, and more importantly, a tiers, which means the chances that free to play players pick up an A tier hero are significantly increased. We are going to see a lot of people getting A tiers this week. As well, DH Games have launched a brand new Discord server, so we'll talk more about that as well. And we'll be breaking down this week's event to tell you how to make the most out of this week and whether you as a player should be using your resources and or money to get the most out of this week's event. Before we do though, this week's video has a sponsor. Angel Legion is a sci-fi idol RPG similar to Idol Heroes but set in space. You put together a team of angels combining their abilities into epic combos to explore the galaxy, defeat powerful foes, and when all that fighting is over, you can hang out with your heroes in the cabin to relax and unwind. The heroes in this game are fully customizable and you can dress and change the way they look to your heart's content. And there's lots of different heroes in the game for you to experiment with to find which team you like the most for making progress. Exclusive for this week, Angel Legion players can get themselves access to fashion items normally only available to players on PC. To get this exclusive fashion item and 10 free summons, all you need to do is go to your account menu, click the gift redeem button in the bottom, and enter the code QJTP4512. And by confirming that code on your account, you'll get an exclusive fashion item and 10 free summons. After that, all you need to do is head to your hero menu, select the fashion item and unlock it, and then equip it to whichever hero you like. So if you want to help out this channel, why not consider checking out Angel Legion and using that code to get yourself some rewards for your account. Who knows, it could be the next fun gacha game for you to play in your free time. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out this week's event for Idle Heroes. So, every day for logging in this week, we're going to get ourselves 100 Starry Night Witch Hats, which we can use in the Campaign Loot Drop Shop to get some cool rewards. On top of that, we're getting four dice, which you can use in Imp's Adventure. Make sure you pick these up, as these will be useful every day to help you complete this week's event. So let's go take a look at the cool event. The first thing you'll see is a new community reward has been added. All you need to do is click the copy button and it will send you to a web page which will invite you to the Idle Heroes Discord server. From there, you need to find the LUT spot and send it a direct message with your code. And that will give you the verification you need to get yourself free rewards for your Idle Heroes account. Once that's done, head into the mail and you can claim all these great rewards. Also in that Discord server, you should be able to access different people in the community to talk about cool ideas, and I'll also be sharing my videos in there as well, just in case you ever miss an upload because you forgot to hit that subscribe button. Also this week, we have our value packages containing gems and Imp's Adventure dice. It seems DH Games are moving away from giving us treasure train tickets in these packages now, so it seems this is less appealing, especially making it worse value for Starry Gem users. However, we do have an adventure package here, which is 50 bucks. This is going to get you gems, dice, and also universal crystals, which can be useful in the campaign loot drop shop. Also, there are 10 Sacred Awakening crystals and Charm Treasure coupons, all of which will be useful this week. Also, by buying that package, you can get yourself double rewards from Imp's Adventure. The real value in here could be considered to be these Sacred Stones, as that's worth around 1,000 Contract Story Gems, and Treasure Coupons are always nice. Whether you should be getting those depends on your opinion on the things we'll look at in a second. First of all, though, we must look at Imp's Adventure, which is getting you our usual rewards. If you double the rewards, you'll get double of everything, including the Starry Night Witch Hat. And the way this works is you roll a dice and it will move the imp around, leveling up each tile you land on. The goal is to pass over these Starry Mushroom Huts, where you will gain a number of stars depending on the level of the hut, and those stars will accumulate to get you all these rewards. One little trick, if you manage to get yourself a lucky dice, use it to skip the last six tiles before the lucky hut. So if you land on this green one down here, you can go ahead and roll a six automatically on the lucky dice and get yourself another lucky dice in return and make a ton of free progress. For more information on how to do Imps Adventure stuff, just go check out any of my series where we play Idle Heroes. Now, the Witch Coven has got a lot of people upset. This is the campaign loot drop store, which is significantly worse than it was last time we went and checked checked this out. Last month we were getting loads of cool stuff, including treasure train item chests, and we were getting the new origin artifact chests as well. 
Unfortunately, it seems all of that has been removed and there's no chance to pick up any of those items. Also, it seems that Starspawn cores have returned to their normal price of 3000 All of this, in my opinion, is a bit of a step backwards from DH Games and it would be nice to see the new shop return. So hopefully, if enough of us share our feedback and disappointment with this shop change, DH Games will make the new shop we had last month the common one. I'm really not happy with this change backwards and I would love to see the new shop from last month become the norm. On top of all that, we've also got Shelter Mission containing Alamac, Eloise, Vessa, and Waldeck. A little bit surprised at these heroes as these were not the ones originally advertised in the event preview from last week, but it seems in the last 24 hours DH Games decided to change their mind on the heroes they were giving us. I'm not complaining though because these heroes are significantly better than the advertised ones, which is good. Eloise is a phenomenal early hero, Alamac and Vessa are great support transcendence heroes for an Eloise, and Waldeck is a crucial support hero as well that you will want to build. So for newer players, this is a fantastic selection of heroes. As always, ignore the light and darks, 2000 gems and two copies from each of their factions is not worth picking them up. To do shelter mission though, you will need four stars from the respective faction that match the designated class. For example, Eloise will need four star rangers and you also need a five star from that faction. This is great for multiple reasons as it will get you a copy of the hero armor and more importantly, five dice, which you can use in the imps adventure. Moving down now to the unique stuff, we have the Glorious Feast. This might seem crazy at first, and it most certainly is. You are able to buy a lot of money's worth of packages here that scale up and up and up. Now, the whole point of the Soul Awakening option is to buy these new crystals, the Sacred Awakening Stones, which will allow you to enter into the Soul Temple and do some Awakens that have a very good chance of getting powerful heroes. Moreover, if you look in the Soul Temple, you'll see that if you do 150 of these new Awakens and fail to get an A- minus or higher hero, you will get one guaranteed. Now that is extremely exciting. Take a look at the odds as well. You can see they've been significantly increased and for an A- minus or higher, it's around 0.4% chance to pick them up. That means potentially you're going to see a lot of people high rolling in this one, and it's not just money you can use to get yourself those Soul Awakening Stones. No, you can actually pick them up with Contract Starry Gems, which is extremely good value. If you buy 1,000 Contract Starry Gems worth, which is the max that you can do, it's very, very likely that you will get that back in heroes that you can disassemble. Consider the chances of C's being significantly increased, B's as well. And actually, if you do just 10 of these awakens by using 1000 contract story gems, there's a 4% chance that you get an A minus hero or higher. 4% is significant because that means on average, one in 25 free to play players that choose to do this will walk away with an A minus hero. And as more and more and more people do that, that statistic will regress towards the mean, making it extremely likely we see a huge flood of A tiers being given to free to play players that have 1000 contract story gems. If that's you, if you're lucky enough to pick up an A minus hero, let me know in the comment section down below. But what's more important about that, guys, is the auction house is going to flood with a tier heroes it is going to be ridiculous lots of people who have multiple accounts people who are trying to awaken as many heroes as possible will be doing this and getting a significant number of b heroes and a heroes that is going to massively throw off the value in the auction house which means if you're trying to sell your return value will be extremely difficult however on the other hand, if you're trying to buy, you will see some hero copies for insanely cheap prices. Look how stupid this is, by the way. We have A- minus heroes being sold for 2,500. Look at that Ada right there. That is ridiculous. What kind of fool is awakening these heroes? Do not be a bozo, guys. But if you take a look, guys, you can see there is an absolute ton of A- minus heroes getting added, and more and more and more will be awakened in the week to come. That is going to massively lower the price of heroes like Aspen and Vulcan, popular heroes who people will attempt to awaken. Combine that with the fact we had a gala last week and people still are awakening from their splendid awakening card. Well, there's just tons and tons and tons of awakened heroes entering the market, meaning the market is going to crash. That's exciting for people who are especially budget players who are looking to pick up their first A tier hero for a cheap price. Or it means you can pick up a ton of A tier heroes and sell them for more in a few months time. That is definitely something I have done before. Whether it was intentionally or by accident is up for debate. But I have managed to sell heroes for more than I bought them for based on things like this. Now that leads us to the question then, should you go ahead and buy this? 
Well, for you to actually get all 150 of these Sacred Awakening Stones, you are going to need to use 1,000 Contract Story Gems, 305 books to buy all of this, and on top of that, you're going to have to go ahead and buy the Imp's Adventure Package, and that's going to result in 355 books being spent to make that possible. That's an awful lot of money for a guaranteed A tier hero, especially if you know alternative ways to get Story Gems for your account by using friendly people in the community to buy them off of for significantly less than DH games sell them for. Using the current market price, you could actually use the same amount of money here and pick up 35,000 Starry Gems. And considering the market is about to crash, you're probably going to be able to pick up three A tier heroes for that price. So my advice would be if you're in the market to get A tier heroes, these Awakens aren't actually the best way for you to do that. Just buy them off the auction house because for every free to play player that is going and doing those 10 Awakens, there is a 4% chance they get an A tier. That's a heck of a lot of A tiers. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of people who are going to do this with multiple accounts. I cannot stress to you how many hundreds of A tier heroes we're probably going to see flooding the market. Now, whether they're any good, I mean, like that Valentino and Ada we saw before, is up for debate, but there definitely will be Aspens and Vulcans. So again, should you spend on this? Absolutely not. I think you should just save your money, and if you were going to spend that much, use it for Story Gems, and you'll get much better value in the auction house in the weeks to come. What we also have is a treasure train option here, which is allowing you to buy up to 150 treasure train tickets. These unique charm treasure coupons are exactly the same price as the Awakened Stones here, but they're also throwing in some interesting stuff like cores, actually, which is kind of cool, and you're also getting chests that contain heroes you can choose to awaken this week. What's interesting about this, then, is it is allowing you to use a treasure coupon which is unique. It will allow you to pick up old treasure train items. You can choose a pink one and you can choose a orange one and those will be given to you on pity timers which you can see at the bottom. Every 50 awakens you do without a pink will get you that pink one you requested. The same goes for oranges but that's for every 30 that you do. Also, notice that there are the old festival items in this, so Encapsulated Memories is the one that really jumps to our attention. Encapsulated Memories is known for being one of the most powerful treasure train items ever printed, as it gives a massive bonus to crit damage if you can get it to 5 star. Even in lower forms, it's still significantly good, and 3 star, which is the highest you'll be able to get it from this week's event, is still enough to give you 22.5% crit damage. So if you were in the market to pick up Encapsulated Memories, or maybe you have one already built, and because it's an old festival treasure, you can't pick it up anymore and you were hoping to finish it, well, this event is allowing you to do that, but you still do need to spend a lot of money to get those new coupons. If you're willing to front that cost, though, you will pick up a ton of things like cores and hero copies, but more importantly, you will get the chance to get Encapsulated Memories onto your account. Whether that's worth it, I'll leave you to decide, but I certainly think the item is terrific. It's just a shame you weren't able to pick it up when it was significantly cheaper. If you do decide to engage with the Soul Awakening session or the special treasure selection, also remember that for each of these, you can buy 10 of them for free using Contract Story Gems. So if you've got Contract Story Gems on your account, definitely engage with this. And I cannot stress just how good it's going to be that free-to-play players can buy 10 of this Sacred Awakening stone, because it's going to mean so many of you will finally have the chance to get an A tier on your account. 4% might not sound like a good statistical chance, but I promise you, when you consider just how many free-to-play players there are in the community, you might just be one of those lucky ones. 1 in 25 is a good chance, and it's definitely worth getting excited about. And even if you can't pick up one here, maybe you'll buy one really cheap on the auction house. So my only criticism really for this week is the Witch Coven. It's just a real shame that we don't have the store from last month. And really you can say that the spending here is completely out of touch with what people are willing to do. And you're probably correct. But you know what? If people want to go ahead and spend, let them. In my personal opinion, I won't be buying any of this stuff. I think it's way too overpriced. And I think there's better ways to get resources for your account in the game using your money whether it's Destiny stuff, Sublimation stuff, that's the stuff I want to see here. Even Stellar Shards and Crystals of Transcendence, none of that's really available here unless you count the cores at the bottom. Most things here are just way too overpriced though. So for me, this is just an event for free-to-play players to get really, really amazing odds for an A tier. And that, to me, sounds like a fun time. So with all that said, let's take a look at next week's event, and the good news for free-to-play players keeps on coming. We have an auspicious Dragon Boat Festival accompanied with a profit 
Orb event. You guys have been asking for months about when the next big Profit Orb event was going to drop. Well, it seems DH Games are planning on bringing it next week. So if you want to see all the information for this Profit Summons prize event, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will be reviewing the event as soon as it's live and uploading to YouTube so that you guys know what to do in that week ahead. So join us if you don't already every Friday where I review the events just like I'm doing today. But my word, this is hopefully going to be fantastic. And finally, free-to-play players can use their Profit Orbs to get some cool rewards such as Destiny Materials, perhaps if we're lucky, but probably more likely sublimation and cause of origin either way great stuff for you guys the profit orb hero is going to be luna the heroic miracle is going to be geister nothing too exciting but i'm most looking forward to the dragon bow festival and that's all that for this week hopefully next week is going to be phenomenal join us then to see if anything is going to be good and i really hope you guys are able to pick up some fantastic awakened heroes this week definitely let me know in the comment section if you manage to pick up an a tier or even an s tier i'm going to be so thrilled if that actually happens because i know the chances there it might just happen to one of you at home Anyway, folks, thank you so much for tuning in and do check out Angel Legion if you want to support this channel. It's a free to play idle game. You can find links in the description and codes if you want to go ahead and check it out and go ahead, give it a try. You might just find it's your new favorite gacha game. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. But until then, have an amazing week and of course, happy hunting.